Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys the one wheel bag made by Future Motion. I'm going to be showing you uh, I don't know how easily and fast the plank goes in and the XR. Um, the bag's made from this like, really strong uh, tarp material. Uh, a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be when I received it. I think it's going to be a lot thinner. It's nice and thick. Um, it also has these two little clips on there to hold your, your board in there a little bit tighter, keep it from uh, moving around. Um, also has a pretty big zipper pocket here in the front. You can put your chargers in. Right now I have the key for the pint. The one thing I kind of wish that they did in this book bag is maybe put a little bit of padding right here where it lays on your spine. Um, Cause I'll show you guys later where it lays a little bit kind of on my lower spine, even my tailbone a little bit. Um, I guess I'm gonna start off with uh, putting a pint in. Me personally, I like putting it in with the handle so it sticks out when I uh, unzipper it. And uh, I stick it in laying down first. That way you can put it up and then you have to worry about strapping it all with the nose up. Put it in like so. Clip these two little clips in. We have a little uh, strap here to tighten them down. Tighten it down. And then just put it right over the board. I like to zip it towards the center, right where your handles are here. On both sides. And then here's a little handle it comes with, nice little carrying handle. What I like to do before I put on the book bag, I like to make sure this uh, other strap is far on the other side so you don't have to worry about stretching your arms behind you. Also has this little clip for your chest. I don't know if you can see it. It's not like uncomfortable at all. The only thing is just I feel it resting like right here in my spine right there. But if I move it to the side, it's, it's okay. And also this little loop up here. So carrying your, your helmets or whatever else you want to flip onto there. So, now let's show me taking it out and then I'll throw the XR in there. So like again, set it sideways to take it out. I feel like the XR is, gonna, is a little bit tighter in here. I do have uh, the push high pads on there. So it does make it a little bit harder. And again, I like it with the handle side out of mine. I'll put the handle on the, um, the right side of the board. So it's out of the front. And boom. Make sure those are nice and uh, all the way out. Get it centered there. Get your straps on. Not your strap on. Boom, boom. Everything nice and tight in there.
So I do have the handle there and it pops out a little bit. We'll look for that strips on the other side there. So we can get it easier. My hair is squished. <laughs> Here's the XR in there. I do feel the little uh, handle right here stabbing me in the back with the zippers also. So maybe if I move the zippers down a little bit. All right, not as bad. Definitely tolerable. I can walk around an airport with this for sure. Maybe if you can run. I'm like, I don't feel it in my upper spine at all, really. Maybe right here in my tailbone. Just right there. Definitely going to try out the uh, pint bag from a crafting rod. That way I have two bags, one for each. But I do like carrying a pint in this bag also because... There is a little extra room you can carry your stuff in with the pint. Yeah, so that's a one wheel backpack in future motion. Hopefully I get to try the one out from a uh, crafting rod soon for the plant and uh, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching. One thing I did forget to mention about the bag that I like is when taking it off, you can also rip your hair out, but from your shoulders, you can pass it right to the hands and set it in.